Slovenia's economy picked up a couple of years ago and caused an increase in business activity in the country. Investors, including those who want to get into real estate, sensed new opportunities. Shopping centres have become the natural place to apply capital. The Slovenian market is interesting. People are spending money. Goods are selling better. Producers want to get a piece of the growing pie. As elsewhere in Europe, large retail chains are interested in expanding in the Slovenian market, and there are many of them. For example, the grocery chains Lidl and Hofer. When it comes to non-food retail, we're talking about DM, Taco and other chains. Currently, our company has opened 50 stores in all regions of Slovenia and we plan on opening another 10 at least. We see a need for growth and won't stop. The chains that I mentioned are oriented towards the mass consumer. Consumers across the country are interested in this product. This is indicative of the potential to expand these chains in Slovenia. The company's eagerness to expand has coincided with a shortage of space. Old construction projects have been reactivated and new ones initiated. Banks are also ready to finance commercial real estate because many potential tenants have appeared in the market. These are large foreign manufacturers, chain stores and local companies interested in active development. Retail chains are ready to expand, but of course they will not open just anywhere. Their requirements regarding location are very definite. They do not open just anywhere. They pay very careful attention to the location of any new store. As a rule, retail chains go to smaller towns, to single shopping areas, where it's possible to organize parking spaces. Yes, the biggest demand today is for properties that are located in shopping areas, as well as in the centres of larger towns. Our interest in one place or another is certainly connected with the number of residents, but that isn't the only factor for us. Often even a small area will attract buyers from the surroundings. In this case, floor space of around 600 square metres is sufficient to open a store. Small trading zones in larger towns, and what are often the only ones in smaller places, can provide the owner of the premises with good net earnings. But what do we mean by net earnings? This is the net rental income that an investor receives before deducting his personal taxes. Personal taxes means income tax or company income tax, which depends in large part on the residency status of a legal or natural person. I want to point out that utility payments, real estate and land tax, VAT and operating costs are covered by the tenant and are not connected with the net earnings. Small satellite townships begin immediately beyond the outskirts of the capital. If we leave Ljubljana to the north, we will be in a town. All retail activity here is centred on a single square. Property premises in a shopping centre in a suburb of Ljubljana. Floor area 560 square metres. Price 960,000 euros. Rent 60,000 euros a year. Estimated profitability 6%. A termless rental agreement has been concluded with the tenant, a store belonging to the Kik chain. The tenant cannot withdraw from the agreement at all for the first seven years. After that, 12 months notice is required. The advantage of such partners for a potential investor is a stable rental income and a long-term lease. As a rule, leases with companies like this are concluded for 10 years, without the option of terminating the contract ahead of time. In other words, you have a guarantee that the tenant will be your partner for the entire term of the lease. It's important for us to be at a location with good pedestrian traffic, in a shopping centre or a separate building, but within a shopping area, for example next to grocery stores that provide a pool of customers. This German company is among those that seek out premises in shopping centres where the main tenant belongs to a large retail chain of grocery stores, in this case Spa. From the capital we head to the sea. Approximately midway is the town of Pastoina, famous for its caves and castles, but we will turn off the main road before we stop. 
property, a store in a shopping centre in Pastoina. Floor area 566 square metres, price 650,000 euros, rent 52,600 euros a year. Estimated profitability 8%, 10-year lease agreement in place. This is proof that tenants are increasingly coming to the provinces, especially if other retailers already exist in a place. The town of Pastoina is located between the coast of Slovenia and the country's capital, Ljubljana. It's also a major tourist centre, with a population of just over 10,000 people. There are more than 30 shops in a single shopping area, including large European retail chains. Our standard calls for a floor area of between 450 and 1200 square meters in a busy shopping zone and preferably on the ground floor. The grocery store provides a flow of regular customers. It's beneficial for the chain Kik and that company has signed a long-term lease. The store has been in this place for seven years and this year it extended the lease for the same term again. This brings the owner a steady income of 8% per year. Note that the return increases as you move away from the capital. For the store in Pastoina, it's 2% higher than comparable premises in Ljubljana. And the retail zone, which has no local rival, will continue to draw shoppers for many years. The incentive for the investor to buy the retail space is obvious. Tenants need more space for successful sales. And if the owner fulfills the client's basic requirements, the client will be amenable. If we see that the premises are in a good location and the landlord partner is serious and reliable, we're ready to sign long-term contracts. It's important to remember that investments in shopping centers require serious preliminary assessment and relatively large sums. When assessing a property, the investor should first of all pay attention to its liquidity. It's vital to check up on the tenant to conduct an independent assessment to ensure that they are able to pay the rent. And, of course, you should only acquire properties in good condition. These projects require an investment of at least €500,000. But in our company over the past year, the average amount of such transactions has been about a million euros. It can be argued that the profitability of such premises depends on the amount of investment. If we're talking about properties that require investments of 500 to a million euros, then you can count on a net profitability of 8 to 9 percent. But if we consider investments above 1 million euros, then we're talking about 10 to 11 percent profitability. By the way, if you are interested in offers with greater profitability, you should also consider development projects. Those are the same shopping centres but at the construction stage. More details on this are provided in one of the following series. For specific proposals, contact Slovenian specialists. <laughs>